What's up guys? We are back. Happy Martin Luther King Day. We're gonna do something today that we haven't done in a long time. Well, we haven't done on video, but if you've been here for a while, you know this channel started because we used to do car stuff. We used to buy cars, fix them, flip them and stuff like that. So you know what? Your boy hit me up, talking about my son, Brandon. He was like, yo dad, look at this car. It's cheap, we should go check it out. I wasn't planning on getting it. I wasn't even looking at it. But you know what? I got the itch, I got the bug to flip another car. So we are on our way this morning to go check out probably one of the last cleanest G35 coupes. Yeah, you know, it's kind of like the 350Z, but like with the tuxedo on. But anyway, this car looks pretty clean. As far as I can tell, it does have some little issues here and there that the owner pointed out. We're gonna see how true he was in his description. And if this is a car that we're gonna bring home maybe for our next flip, it is perfectly spec. It's black on black with the six speed manual. So, you know, those are the ones that are highly sought after. And it listed at originally $9,000, Brandon. And then he dropped it down to five. So either someone came out or a bunch of people came out and kept, you know, nitpicking and, and there's something wrong with the car or he just really needs to move it fast. I hope it's just the second thing. I hope he just needs to move it fast and there really isn't like major issues with the car. So uh, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and take this ride. We're about an hour out. It's, you should be there probably a little bit before 9 a.m. So uh, if you're here for sneakers, please stick around. This is some different type of content and I'll show you what I got on foot. We both got heat on feet today, right? So we'll show you that. And then you're gonna see this car process and uh, are we gonna end up with it? I don't know, but you'll find out probably in about 10 minutes or so. All right, let's get to, where are we going to Brandon? Southampton, Northampton? I'm not sure. Somewhere on the outskirts of Philadelphia. Let's get there. All right, we've arrived. I thought we'd be able to see it, but the car is actually under a car cover. I guess that's pretty, that's a good sign, right? Yeah. All right, we've been here for about like 10, 15 minutes now. At first I thought this was just gonna be like a weird, like the owner just bailed on me or something. Finally got in touch with him. He said he overslept. So it's uh, just now a waiting game for him to get dressed. I hope this weight is worth it, man. What do you think, Brandon? I hope so too. <laughs> Brandon's like, he's got to get to work soon, so. This is Martin Luther King Day, so it's a holiday, national holiday. In PA, you can't just like sign a title and hand it to someone, like you can in Jersey and Maryland and stuff. I like those states. In PA, you actually have to go to a notary, a notary or a, a tag place and you have to do the transfer at one of those places. So we couldn't even like purchase the car today because I don't think they're all open. So it's kind of a bummer, but I wanted to be the first one to come out and see the car. I know he said he had tons of interest, especially since he dropped it down four grand from not, who's buying that car for $9,000? Is that even? It's car prices are going up a lot. And uh, cars like these are getting harder to find, unmolested. This one is apparently unmolested, has zero modifications. That's hard to believe. One thing I can say to the seats in it look good clean. You know what, I'm talking about the car. Hopefully we can just show it to you in a second. All right guys, this is it. Seems fairly clean. Some paint off the wheels. Uh, Definitely a respray, definitely been repainted. Um, body's pretty damn clean, except for rust area here and here. Actually sounds good. All right guys, we are driving this car from my assessment it seems like a pretty clean car. The seller though, he's turning me off because he's just talking too much. You know, I guess he's like Russian or something, but it just seems like he's overselling. And, uh, but if I'm trying to look past it, he's not, I'm not letting him distract me. And from what I can tell, the main thing this car needs is a rear brace. It's like a rear subframe brace. It is rusted out. I know it's a common thing with these cars um, and the mount that it mounts to. And I looked it up yesterday because he did mention it in his listing i think they're about 200 dollars, or you can go with an aftermarket one uh it seems like a probably a really clean car that somehow survived the clutch seems it's uh it releases kind of high just like my my g35 definitely a good flip vehicle but uh, a lot of things i probably won't even bother with because i think people will just take it the way it is um but it feels good got good power i think it's clean i think it's clean well, especially for the new g35s they how you normally see them they're usually, for this price. They're usually clapped out, especially if it's $5,000, let's be honest. They, they kind of tear, tear these things up. And uh, I'm gonna go this way. I don't know where I'm at, so. Let's do a little pull. Yo, it feels good. Yo, it feels good. Steering is super 
super tight. I mean, it has some rust on the quarter above the wheel. It has some paint work done on it. And the interior is fairly good for what it is. The guy was really firm on his price. Honestly, <laughs> at 5000 it's probably priced aggressively to go. Hey, I forgot to ask if this was a clean title car. How did I not ask that? All right, one of the last things I need to do, uh, I still need to find out if it's a clean title. I don't know how I forgot that, but is uh, I do run a scan on it just to make sure the, um, the check engine light wasn't reset. And you can tell it wasn't reset because it says it's ready for any emissions testing. So everything has passed uh, all the emission requirements. So we're good to go. Yeah, I'm telling you, it's, uh, it's like, there's no point for you selling it, uh, like, rusted, uh, races, you know, I don't care. Yeah. There you go, guys. What do y'all think, man? I don't know. What's going on? So this might not happen. The seller's in the background there. Apparently he never uh, registered the title. Like he has a title and it has his name written on the back, you know, like you do when you're at the notary. But I told you Pennsylvania is tricky. You have to do everything in front of them. And um, I guess they're not allowing him to just cross off his name and put my name on it. But uh, I think he was just trying not to register the car and, you know, just hold it. And uh, yeah, you can't do that for PA. So yeah, this might not happen today. Brandon already called his uh, work and said he's gonna be late. Okay, it took a little bit of work. Brandon's now really late for work, um, but we're able to get the title situation done. It's in the system. Title will be coming to my house, and uh, yeah, we're gonna go back now to, and follow this guy and pick up the uh, pick up the car. I couldn't leave and, and not pick this up. It's just you know, it's kind of a rare car to find, you know, unmolested. But yeah, we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna uh, throw a tag on here and uh, check all the fluids, make sure it's all topped off, and then we're gonna head home. Fingers crossed, we got about an hour uh, to go to get home. That's usually the first battle. If I can get home, we're okay. I can deal with everything else. We got Brandon and the Audi behind us. A steering wheel, man. I don't know, somebody must have had some sandpaper hands. <laughs> but we're gonna have to fix that up. Oh, and for the sneaker people, I'm wearing my cement fours. First, first gas fill up. All right, so we switched off and uh, Brandon's going to follow me the rest of the way. And uh, we're actually going to drop him off at his job. And then we have to do some maneuvering. I'll have to go back and get that car and drop his car off. He couldn't get it in reverse. He was stuck. <laughs> You have to go all the way over and down. He wasn't going over far enough. He was throwing it in six gear. We are at Brandon's job. Car is dirty, but we'll take care of that. And uh, you're ready to go, you're late, so you gotta go. Brandon said there was no problems with the car, right? None at all, all right, cool. So we're gonna go ahead home, and I'll take that home, bring his car back. Yo, Brad, your key. It's been a long day, it is almost, well, it's after two o'clock. We started at 8 a.m., and uh, I am just now getting back into the, the G, and uh, I went and got Brandon's car from home, brought it back down to him. It is parked where he normally parks his car when he's at work. So now we're in a G, we're gonna take this G home and that concludes our pickup. I will wrap this video up soon as I get home. So about 20 minutes drive, but for you guys, it'll be right now. So here it is guys, the new pickup, quick flip, hopefully a quick flip, G35 coupe, six speed. Can't wait to get to those headlights. It's oddly satisfying when you take those yellow things and turn them clear again. And uh, chrome needs a little work. Maybe I'll just black it out. I'll fix the wheel, repaint the wheels, or get them powder coated. Clean car, clean. Well, clean for what it is. For an old car, 18 year old car, it's clean. I mean, 
it's not that bad. The owner left some old CDs. I don't know what's going on. Interior is in pretty good shape, decent. There's no rips, tears, everything I think I can fix in here. Steering wheel, a little bit worn, but we'll take care of that. Something going on here. I'll take care of that, seeing that down, probably repaint the whole thing, clean everything else up, clean the back up. That's all it really needs. It's a good clean. And uh, everything works, man, except for the display on there goes in and out. Um, all the steering wheel controls work. The button for the driver's window, I don't know if it's the button switch or if it's the actual window um, motor, but sometimes it just doesn't work. So I'll look at that. It might be the connections in the button clean car don't tell me is that the book yeah <laughs> there's a book for the infinity and some touch-up paint okay so this was definitely owned by an adult someone who was not like trying to you know make a drift missile out of it <laughs> and uh hopefully you know i'll be able to preserve it and it'll eventually end up going to someone who wants to preserve it as well um but yeah should be pretty good car I know your boy kind of likes it, but I think he'll much rather have my G over there than this one. Even though this is probably a lot more sporty and younger, but mine is cool too. Oh, another thing that this car has is uh, I love it that it has the Brembos. It comes with the Brembos. That's always a cool option. Like my car don't even have Brembos on it, but yeah, front and rear. I mean, damn. Yes, but uh, it does have a rusted out. Um, there's like a bar. There's a brace that goes underneath the, the rear subframe. That whole thing needs to be replaced. Uh, I gotta get that fixed. The exhaust seems good. Uh, and we have to do that wheel bearing. Another thing I noticed is the, uh, the fender liner is missing. So I'm gonna go ahead, order a fender liner. And underneath the hood, uh, it does have oil leaks at the valve cover. So definitely gotta take care of that clean car for what it is oh the doors keep closing automatically so this wasn't a sneaker video by the way i told you i had some white cement fours on brandon has some um some zebras uh yeezys and uh damn, the door keeps closing back to our old style videos it is not permanent this is just so once in a while type thing i figured i'd film it since you know we started the channel flipping cars and filming that stuff and a lot of people liked it so hey if you want to see some updates of this car um, let me know and I'll be sure to throw one update or two in between my sneaker reviews and stuff. But yeah, G35 Coupe. Finally, I always wanted one of these. I always liked these, especially the uh, the, the first generation. These are, these are pretty dope. Pretty dope. So like, comment, subscribe, and your boy is out of this joint because it's freezing. Later, guys. Woo! And I'm going through the car. It's been a couple days. And I'm like, hold up. What's going on with the stereo? I discovered that the freaking car has Sirius satellite radio. And not only does it have it, it works. I didn't subscribe to it. So this is probably back in the early days when Sirius first came out, they offered a lifetime subscription for certain cars or whatever. And this car, I'm sure, has it. Lifetime subscription, Sirius, it's free. I didn't have to pay for it. I have it in other cars. But again, this one's free. Free is for me. I'll take three. <laughs> Rock the bells all day, guys.